Hi, today I am going to overcome my fear of heights by working in a restaurant that is suspended 130 feet up in the air. And I thought it would be a great idea for content, but I'm slowly starting to regret it because I am deathly afraid of heights. But that's okay. Today I'm going to be working in a restaurant that's being held by a crane 40 meters up in the air and you guys get to come with me and watch me do it. So yeah, let's go work in a tiny little restaurant up in the air. Let's do it. I'm gonna get dressed. So I am ready. I'm wearing my chef jacket. I'm just gonna put the apron and the hat on when I get there. I am so nervous, yo. I am so nervous. some music my my harness like almost broke open it sort of like undid itself when i was adjusting it so let's hope that doesn't happen when i'm in the air so yeah need some liquid courage it's warm no, it's not alcohol. What the fuck? Let's go. Okay, guys, this is the cream. We're gonna go on and out. So I got there at around 6 p.m. We started getting everything ready. Most of the things were already done and set up, and then people started to come in, and we started to strap them into the chairs and sit them down at around seven the location is in floriana and that is how high up we will be going it is a hundred and thirty feet 40 meters up in the sky here is a look at the menu the guests will be able to choose from this of course they would have already pre-picked out their food from before and now I'm just getting into the little kitchen area before we go up I'm just getting in and as you can see we have everything ready do a quick check and that's me with my harness and we are going to be hooked up with these ropes to the top of this like thing so it'll be super safe and this is how small the area is where we will be working in the kitchen. Uh, we have a little stove, an oven, and a fridge. And that is it for our appliances. And then once everything was ready and everyone was strapped in, it was time to take off. We're just getting the bread warmed up in the oven here really quick. And as we ascend to the top, I'm going to start preparing the amuse bush and serving the bread. For amuse bush, we have ajo blanco, which consists of almond, garlic, smoked mackerel, grapes, and green apple. I'm just pouring them into these little shot glasses. Next, I'm adding some chopped green apples to the soup. We have our purple grapes, just adding that over the top. Then our smoked mackerel and finally our crushed almonds then i'm just drizzling a little bit of herb oil on the top and then it is time to serve while they are eating their amus bush we are going to begin preparing these starters for starters we have two types we have octopus or peppers the peppers dish is vegan and I'm starting by preparing that. Usually we get all the plating ready and then we prepare the food, but since this, everything except the main courses are all cold, then we can just go ahead and pre-plate everything. So for the peppers, we have red pepper confit, stuffed with quinoa, garlic, and herbs, as well as tomato, roasted cashew nuts, chickpeas, and miso puree. I'm just unwrapping them and placing them straight on the plate. Then I'm just adding some olive tapenade, dressing it with some parsley oil and garnishing it with microherbs. 
Now, the micro herbs were a real challenge here because they were flying literally everywhere with the wind, but I guess it's just part of the experience. And then someone ordered some oysters as an extra, so I just gave them that. And next, I'm plating the other starter option, which is octopus carpaccio. So as you can see, that layer of octopus at the bottom, beautiful, looks like a piece of art. And here we have some potato confit with white beans and I'm just placing a little bit in the center and pressing it down and getting all those plates ready and then after I'm adding a few dots of olive tapenade all around the plate because of course you have to have olive tapenade with octopus just makes sense you know then I'm just adding some microgreens once again they're practically flying everywhere so we just really had to stick stick them on there so they don't go like flying away but still kind of happened then i'm just dressing it with some chorizo oil all over now that we have given the guests their starters we can start preparing our intermediate course for the intermediate course it is a cocktail but not just any kind of cocktail it is a prickly pear daiquiri molecular sphere as you can see these look like egg yolks i promise you they are not so this is a molecular sphere, it's kind of like essentially a giant boba and it's served on half a lime and then the guests would take it and like uh, tip it into their mouth like a shot and then squeeze the lime into their mouth after the cocktail to experience all of the flavors and I just love this so much. And then after that we started to prepare the main courses. So for main courses there is a selection of four different dishes. There's fish, pork, beef and then there is the risotto which is vegan. So this section of the menu, the main courses, is the only thing where we have hot food. So for this we need to work super fast. We start by setting out all of the plates and then we start pre-plating everything so like garnishing and then we can start to plate the actual hot food the plating you are seeing here is actually the plating for the short beef ribs and then once the plating for that dish is done i'm going to move on to the plating for the other dish so the plating you are seeing me do right now is the plating for the meager and then i'm just placing like the veg any other cold items putting everything back in the fridge where it belongs uh, then I'm continuing to plate placing all the other components before we place our hot item then once that plating is done I'm moving on to the plating for the risotto so for the risotto we have smoked white bean puree just some dots of those and I'm adding some micro herbs just sticking them on so they don't go flying away and now once all the plating is ready we can start uh, so I took the meat out of the oven here we have the short beef ribs and then I'm just placing that on the plate that has the roasted shallots sweet potato puree and I'm just covering that in some bone marrow beef choux and as soon as we finish it we just serve the plate to the guest after plating that I'm moving on to the next plate which is the fish so for the fish it's poached baked meager with crispy scales served with marinara sauce and I'm just pouring I'm being super generous with the sauce and once again sending the plates out to the guests once as soon as we finish plating them finally we have the porcini risotto so we plate the risotto fresh hot and then we are placing a layer of oyster mushroom carpaccio on top some microgreens and then we serve it after we serve the main courses it is time to prepare the desserts uh, so for dessert we have a dark and white chocolate crema with raspberry jelly and chocolate soil for decoration i'm using a paintbrush and just brushing two strokes of this raspberry gel on the plate and then placing the brownie and finally the soil and then we serve the desserts. Of course, that's not it. We have to finish off with a digestive. So for digestive, we are doing a limoncello sorbet. Here I am mixing up the lemon sorbet and we are just adding a little bit of limoncello and then serving it in these 
shot glasses and of course I had to try one for myself and that is it then we slowly started to descend back down to ground level and that is my shift at dinner in the sky hi guys I am back I am in my car now as you can see it's very dark uh, we just finished that was so much fun typically there would be two seatings but they only did one today so uh, usually by now they would be already doing the second one and finish like at like 10 30 11 uh usually it's like one and a half hours today we took it a bit like more relaxed since we didn't have a second seating and uh, it was like an hour and 45 minutes it was so much fun it didn't even feel like i was working and me i am i am terrified deathly afraid of heights but I didn't even realize I was like up because obviously it, you don't realize until you look down. And I was so focused on plating and whatever, I didn't even feel anything. It's like my fear of heights disappeared today. The maximum amount of people per seating is 22 and we did 18 today. Um, it was it was great, honestly. Like as you saw from the footage, it was great. That is me uh, working a shift at dinner in the sky about 130 feet up in the air and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think as always if you are not updated but you would like to be make sure to check out my instagram at marzi to r2s thank you so much guys i will see you very soon for another video